Hello people, in this video we want to look at this book Practical Biochemistry Geeta Damodaran Let's look inside this book. The book looks neat and interesting. Here are the contents for you, carbohydrates, proteins, lipid reactions, urea, creatinine, uric acid, urine analysis, hemoglobin derivatives, reactions of milk, quantitative analysis, this is colorimetry, right? Determination of glucose, urea, same thing, but you will determine the quantity, creatinine, same thing. Bilirubin, transaminase. I have a feeling the, <coughs> the contents could have been a little more in detail. Because you know, suddenly you will be like, which is the test for bilirubin? Which is the test for uric acid? If they had written here itself, you know, it would have been like a, um, a revision, easy revision for you. Isn't it? And they are saying that there are some charts for you. Let's look at these and then spotters, so many spotters, instrument spotters, reagents, indicators, crystals, graphs, tests, nutrition, spectroscopy, etc. So let's look at this book here and there. So here you have your test for glucose, isn't it? Benedict's test. And what is Barford's test? Barford's test. This is about monosaccharide, isn't it? Barford test. Crystal structure of which... Carbohydrate, maltose, is it maltose? This is called as osazone test. Do you remember all this? Crystals. Here's a flow chart how to identify unknown carbohydrates. Guys, are you focusing? So first one you will do what? Mollish, mollish test. You know this do is very irritating. It should be mollish test. What do you say? Just mollish test you do. And then Benedict's test. This do is like as though it is some do Benedict's test. Do Mollish test. It sounds like a new test name itself. Okay. Finally, they are doing Osa zone to find out which disaccharide or monosaccharide it is. Isn't it people? Focus. So here is all about proteins, some reaction of albumin, reaction of casein, etc. So basically in our college, we had our own um, um, book, you know, from given by our lab. So we didn't need to buy, but this book looks very useful because our college book was not so nice. <clears throat> so there are some questions here. Let us look at this. Name the following. Derive the lipids, complex lipids, phospholipids. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the answers are there here and there, I'm guessing. Can't actually find the answer. Anyways, so then uh, urea, you, you know this urea test? Yeah. Very important, even in um, some um, microbiology, you will use this urease test because some bacteria produces enzyme urease, isn't it? Very important to know this urease test. Okay, then <coughs> what else do you want to look at? See, this is a very important thing to know. What is the normal pH 3 for 7.35 to 7.45? Very important. Okay, this um, th that's in uh, blood gas analysis, you have to know this, this one and the bicarbonate levels. Okay. So this you will tell you whether it is the person is having alkalosis or acidosis, etc. There seem to be some um, case study also here, which is nice. And immediately after the question, they have given the answer also. So she is suffering from what? Jaundice. Why? Because bilirubin is more, is it? Let's go backwards. We are going backwards. Yes. See, it should be 1.2 max. It's 10. So yes, so she is having jaundice. Which type of jaundice? Hemolytic. How will you say? Because of conjugated versus unconjugated. Unconjugated is more. So it is a lot of hemolysis. Okay. And they are saying it is probably due to sickle cell disease. Now why did they say that? They said that because 
okay there is anemia so anemia is definitely confirmed now how do you say sickling test sickling test is positive so sickle cell anemia very good so like this we will be able to do a lot of biochemistry analysis i think this book kind of is attractive and nice so what are these spotters this already we showed you let's take some other spotters wait identify the test give the principal and use in its laboratory they have given some image here it's very difficult for me to understand what they are trying to show here okay let's see the answer shift test uric acid reduces silver nitrate to metallic silver in alkaline medium this is shift's test for uric acid okay do you know this one guys why is this bad sorghum what is the harm in having sorghum as staple diet this will have leucine is very high it seems so this leucine is a bad thing looks like leucine is a bad thing i didn't know that is a sad smiley okay next to leucine lot of spotters are there guys in this book which is kind of nice you know it makes you feel like actually holding this book and looking into it all the time because you know the way it is written also what i feel it's not the there's not a lot of information in a single page um okay this one looks like a lot of information there is question and answer let us look at this let's see this one tryptophan you have to demonstrate its presence okay so what will you do melons reagent formaldehyde so all this you will do and you get a purple ring so that will indicate tryptophan is it okay so they've given some answers also to these question name one vitamin derived from tryptophan in the body niacin wait sorry what is the one letter abbreviation of tryptophan w who where is w in tryptophan w represents tryptophan kind of nice to know all this isn't it so that's it people hope you learned something in this book from this book practical biochemistry by geeta damodaran you can look at this and then decide to buy if you want it feels uh, finally the conclusion is that it looks very handy and nice it has a lot of simple information and images spotters question answers so the book as such is very welcoming okay see you in the next video bye bye